welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here today i'll be doing a tutorial on milk bath nails using gelix nails i'll put up some inspo pictures up here a lot of the nail designs that i saw online i think they did use a lot of real flowers as well as just like dried flowers so i'll show you guys what i got i thought i could put some of these into the nail design and i also got some of these dried flowers at the dollar store they're really cute they look like they're blue but they're actually purple I also got some of these dried flowers. I don't know if they're real or not. I'm gonna cut them up and just put them on the table and see what kind of colors go with each other. This is gonna be a fun experiment to see which colors go with which and yeah. So I'll be showing you guys how I do this. I broke my curing lamp. When I broke the other one, I immediately went to Amazon and bought a new one. I don't know if you guys knew this existed, but I actually didn't. But it's super cute. And then I also got this curing lamp because my other one just broke. This is the curing lamp. It's super cute. I thought it would be bigger, but I like the fact that it's a little smaller. And this also has a very strong light. So I'll be using these two to do my nails today. Without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll show you guys the tutorial. So before I start my nails, I'm going to trim and cut the flowers that I bought and yeah, just seeing how the colors go together. The very first step is always to push back your cuticles and using this tool, I'm also scraping off the dead skin and be very careful that when you're doing this you're holding the tool almost horizontally to your nail plate now i'm going in with a buffer to remove that dead skin that just came off my nail plate Using a medium file, I'm going to smoothen out my nail and also just make them a little shorter for the nail application. I'm going in with my Melody Susie e-file and cleaning up around my cuticle with this bit. If you guys don't have an e-file, you don't have to do this step or just use any other tools that you use to clean up around your cuticles. When I don't use a cuticle nipper, I usually go in with this round bit and just smoothen out my cuticles. rubbing alcohol to sanitize and remove the oils on my nail plate but you guys can also use acetone for this step I'm also going in with a tool like this to make sure that nothing is stuck under my cuticles and also just cleaning up around my cuticles the jello jello peel off base coat because i don't want my nails to last more than two or three weeks but if you guys want your nails to last over a month or over five weeks i recommend switching this step with applying a thin layer of gelix nail glue One thing that I look for in choosing the right nail extensions is an extensions that usually have a built apex. I'll be linking almost all my products that I use in this video down below so you guys can find the link for everything in the description. 
Make sure that you don't forget to do this step when you're doing your nails because roughening up the inside of the extensions can make your nails last over a month. Try not to apply too much or too little of the Gel-X nail glue on the nail extensions. What I do when I apply too much Gel-X nail glue is I go in with a brush that looks like this and just smoothen out the inside of the extension and smoothen out the glue. I also want to mention that I'm doing the overlay method and that's why I'm leaving a little bit of a gap between my nail and the extension. To smoothen out the nail extension and blend it into my natural nails, I use a ceramic bit that looks like this. You guys can also use just a regular nail file to do this step. going in with a nail clipper just to kind of shape up my nails so that it makes the filing process much easier. Today I'm going in for more of an almond shape so I'm cutting it to the length and size that I like and you guys can also do this with any shape that you like or prefer. Now to prep my extensions for the design and the base coat to go on, I'm buffing up my nails with this nail buffer. This step is also important in making your gel nails last longer. Now I'm going to remove all the dust and oils again before applying the base coat. this milky white color and just applying a thin layer of that as a base color before applying the flowers. sure you don't cure this layer because we're going to be sticking all the flowers on top of the nail. I just kind of played around with the colors and the flowers on my nail and once I got the right finish I just cured it for a second and then went in with a thin layer of milky white again. Before curing the milky white layer of the gel, make sure that you go in with a tool like this or a brush like this and just kind of smoothening out the corners and on top of the flowers. Thank you. 
after you've cured that layer for 60 seconds, I'm going in again with the Milky Way and applying another layer. going in with a nail file to kind of smoothen out the shape of my nails as well as just smoothen out the bumps from applying the flowers. Make sure that you don't over file when doing this because we don't want to actually damage the flower and the shape of the nail. Now I'm applying a thin layer of top coat again. Before I start filing and shaping my nail again, I'm going in with my rubbing alcohol and just cleaning up around my nail and also cleaning up my fingers. Now that the top coat has been applied, I'm going to go in with my nail file again and just shaping up that nail even more and just making it nearly perfect and smooth. <laughs> I'll be doing this process several times, maybe once or twice more, just to make sure that I build up the volume with the top coat and also smoothen out with the nail file. Now, at the end, it's time to apply a perfect coat of top coat and really building that apex. And I'll show you guys how I do that. I just apply a thin layer of top coat in the beginning, not curing that, and then applying a bunch of top coat on the top of my nail, as you can see, and smoothening the lines out with a thin brush. Here you can tell that the apex is built on all my nails and also the volume is built up. I recommend washing your hands at this point or just using some rubbing alcohol or acetone to sanitize and remove the stickiness off of the top coat. I love how this nail design turned out. I've never really done anything like this so I was really happy to see that they turned out so well. I'm going in with some hand cream and OPI cuticle oil to make sure that my hands and cuticles are moisturized. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next.